Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Shashank Rajan, and I welcome you all to the most important top 200 MCQs for the upcoming FCAT examination. Ladies and gentlemen, NDI has started this initiative to cover top 200 MCQs for you from the last six months current affairs, and this is the eighth part in the whole series. We have already covered December, November, October, September, and now we are on August. Now after August, we'll cover July month. So the whole six months current affairs will be covered in the two, top 200 most important MCQ manner. So let's begin the discussion for today. So the first question is here on your screen. In August 2021, Defense Minister Rajnath Singh launched Defense India Startup Challenge, DISC 5.0, to develop India's defense manufacturing capabilities under which organization? Options are here on your screen. You can attempt this question. I'll change the slide in 10 seconds. All right, ladies and gentlemen, so the answer here is three. That is Innovations for Defense Excellence, Defense Innovation Organization, IDX DIO. So this is the organization with which Defense Minister Sri Rajnath Singh launched Defense India Startup Challenge, DISC 5.0. Okay, let's move to the next question. So second question is, in August 2021, Supreme Court of India allowed the entry of women into which of the following organization? So you have the uh, options on your screen. Attempt this question. We'll change the slide in 10 seconds. All right, ladies and gentlemen, so the answer here is NDA, National Defense Academy. So Supreme Court has allowed women candidate to appear in upcoming National Defense Academy examination conducted by UPSC. Okay, let's move to the next question. In August 2021, Sri Ramnath Kovan approved the DASH Constitutional Amendment Act restoring the power of states and union territories to identify and specify DASH. So you have the options on your screen. Attempt this question, we'll change the slide in 10 seconds. All right, ladies and gentlemen. So the answer for this question is, in August 2021, Ram Nath Kovan approved 105th Constitutional Amendment Act restoring the power of state and unit territory to specify the socially and ed educationally backward classes. Okay, So this uh, socially and educationally backward classes after the uh, coming up of the EWS uh, thing, the economically weaker section, 10% reservation that was added. So the power was taken by the central government to identify the socially and educationally backward classes. But this has been restored by the president of India, Ramnath Kovan. And uh, now the power to identify the socially and educationally backward class has gone back to the states and the union territories. Okay, let's move to the next question. So the next question is, name the highway in which Bhail Bharat Heavy Electricals Limited installed an electric charging station, making it India's first EV friendly highway. So there is a, like, uh, to, to promote the electric vehicle, there are a lot of schemes going on in our country, right? Now in that, uh, we do not have a lot of charging stations. If we have charging stations, just like petrol pumps, if there is some charging station, then it will become easy for electric biker or electric car owner 
to move the electric vehicles over the roads for going long distance right so ladies and gentlemen the uh, thing that we must remember is that <clears throat> uh, uh, so so uh, attempt this question and we'll check the answer in 10 seconds All right, so let's move to the answer. Answer is Delhi Chandigarh Highway. So on the Delhi Chandigarh Highway to uh, make these electric vehicles that go for long distances to charge them in between, there's a charging station that's been put there. And that's why that highway has now become EV friendly. All right, so, uh, so uh, now that's become an EV friendly highway and that's India's first highway. So Delhi Ch uh, Chandigarh Highway has become the first highway in India that's become the ev friendly so you can charge your electric vehicle there let's move to the next question which organization partnered with usa's national oceanic and and atmospheric administration noaa to improve india's weather forecasting system so india's weather forecasting system imd which predicts the weather there has been the, uh, the prediction of weather is not very very up to the point especially taking into perspective the uh, behavior of monsoon like climate in india so the monsoonal wind are the most unpredictable wind in the world now usa and all they have temperate cyclone which is very easy to predict even each minute prediction can be given in a very very perfect way but in india that's not possible now noaa is collaborating with india to understand india's weather system so as uh, so so as to make india's weather forecasting system better so uh, okay so now just attempt this question like which organization from india is partnering with noaa and we'll check the answer in 10 seconds All right, ladies and gentlemen, so the answer is National Institute of Ocean Technology, NIOT, is collaborating with NOAA, okay, to forecast, to improve the India's forecasting, weather forecasting system. Okay, let's move to the next question, which is, where did Indian Air Force recently, in August 2021, construct one of the world's highest mobile air traffic control tower? So, mobile ATC, world's highest, recently constructed by the Indian Air Force, where is it constructed? World's highest. Attempt this question. We'll come to the answer in 10 seconds. All right, ladies and gentlemen. So the answer for this question is Ladakh. So in Ladakh, one of the world's highest uh, mobile ATC tower has been built by Indian Air Force uh, in the <clears throat> Nyoma area of Ladakh at Advanced Landing Ground, ALG. Okay, let's move to the next question. So the next question is, in August 2021, Indian government gave approval to Team Claw to scale dash, which will be the new world record for a team of people with disability. So to a scale, which mountain has government recently given a permission? And this would be the world record for a team of people with disabilities to, uh, you know, climb that height. Okay. So we'll check the answer in 10 seconds. Please attempt it. Okay, so the answer for this question is Siachen Glacier. So Siachen Glacier will be the highest ever, uh, the hi highest ever height that a team of disabled people would be, uh, <clears throat> you know, scaling. And uh, it will be undertaken under the part Operation Blue Freedom. So even this question can be asked in the exam that what is Operation Blue Freedom? So Operation Blue Freedom is about the team of of uh, people with disability who are going to achieve a new world record of 
scaling the height of Siachen Glacier. Okay, let's move to the next question. So the next question is on your screen, ladies and gentlemen. In August 2021, Dash virtually represented India in the first ever G20 Ministerial Conference on Women Empowerment. So this is the very first conference happening this year in the very, very important G20 meeting. Okay. So who, who was the one who represented India that was hosted by? So two uh, things that you, you should know that where was this G20 ministerial conference on women's empowerment uh, hosted and who attended from India? Okay, so attempt this question. I'll change slide in 10 seconds. All right, ladies and gentlemen, so the answer for this question is Spriti Irani and it was hosted by Italy. Okay, so meeting was attended by Spriti Irani from India and hosted by Italy. Next question that we have on our screen is which Indian company signed an agreement for constructing $530 billion greater Malay connectivity project with the government of Maldives. Now, India and Maldives maintain a very good relationship, but because of coming of the China and especially Chinese taking up a lot of projects in Maldives, our relation with Maldives got a strain in between for some time due to political influence of China into Maldives. And then uh, lately, uh, Maldives realized this and China went into um, moved out India now has started getting new contracts so this is a very very important contract 530 million dollar contract a big contract uh, that India has recently got for uh, the greater Mali connectivity project now which company has achieved this uh, uh, <clears throat> has, has, has signed this agreement so attempt this question I'll choose the side in 10 seconds All right, so the option answer for this is FCON infrastructure. So FCON infrastructure uh, has recently signed this agreement for constructing 530 million Greater Mali Connectivity Project with the government of Maldives. Okay, let's move to the next question. So we have matched the following Salt Lake with their location. So uh, recently, a lot of lakes were in news uh, related to Ramsar Convention and protection of the wetland. So some of the uh, lakes that were in news this uh, in the last six months are here on the screen. And in one question, I've tried to, you know, make you familiar with these important lakes where they are located. So uh, through this massive following question, attempt this question and we'll check the answer in 10 seconds. All right, uh, ladies and gentlemen. So, uh, see, first of all, Pangong So. So, Pangong So uh, Lake was in news because of Indo China conflict in the Ladakh region. So, this should be the answer for this. Now, Lonar Crater Lake was in news because Lonar Crater Lake uh, is in Maharashtra and uh, this is going to be recognized as the World Heritage 
बिकॉज दिस लोनार लेक हैज बीन क्रिएटेड बिकॉज ऑफ अ क्रेटर दैट्स बिकॉज ऑफ द मीटियोर दैट फेल ऑन ऑन द अर्थ एंड बिकॉज ऑफ द फॉलिंग ऑफ द मीटियोर देर वॉज अ डिप्रेशन ऑन द सर्फेस ऑफ द अर्थ एंड इन दिस डिप्रेशन द वॉटर गॉड फील्ड इट इज इन महाराष्ट्र लोनार लेक ओके सो नेक्स्ट इज द चिलिका लेक सो चिलिका लेक इज अ लगून इन ओडिशा सो इट्स अ लगून सो वट इज अ लगून सो अ लगून इज वेन दिस इज फॉर एग्जाम्पल सी एंड Uh, the sea waves comes and it strikes the the uh, nearby coast right and if suppose this the sea water gets stored it it gets trapped somewhere on the land then in that then that a uh, water body is known as a lagoon so lagoon is basically a brackish water lake or uh, salt water lake you can call okay uh, so that's what is chilika lake that's in odisha and the next we have is sambar uh a salt lake so sambal salt lake is in rajasthan and this is the only inland lake so it is an inland lake okay inland lake that is salty in nature so generally these lagoon for example chilika lake is also salty but then this is a lagoon because of the water that the sea water getting influx into the land this chilika lake has formed so this is basically a lagoon but sambal lake is an inland lake and uh, there is no, no connectivity with the sea but still it the water is salty all right so let's move to the next question ladies and gentlemen and the next question is on your screen okay so uh, to mark the event of neera chopra's winning gold in olympic games athletics federation of india decided to celebrate dash as national javelin throw day so which day is going to be celebrated as national javelin throw day options are on your screen i'll change the slide in 10 seconds all right so the option is answer here is 7th of august so 7th of august will be celebrated as national javelin throw day okay let's move to the next question name the organization that launched my e heart a web portal for strengthening the handicraft sector in india okay so which organization has launched this my e heart options are on your screen will change the slide in 10 seconds all right ladies and gentlemen so the answer is hcl foundation so hcl foundation has launched this uh, online portal called my e heart to empower artisans and strengthen the value chain for handicraft sector in india okay so uh, <clears throat> there are various lot of uh, big companies like reliance like hcl tcs they all come up with some socially productive uh, applications they give something back to the society under the social corporate uh, co Uh, under the csr norm okay corporate so, corporates social responsibility okay so every corporation that's in india will ha has a social responsibility towards the people in india and thereby under it every co com uh, company has to uh, donate some percentage of its profit or put some percentage of its profit in the social uh, for the social development of the people all right and thereby under this hcl foundation has launched my e heart okay we have the next uh, uh, <clears throat> question on our screen which state received four scotch awards for various initiative on ease of doing business including the platinum award for shilpasti so you have uh, the options on your screen will change the slide in 10 seconds
Alright, ladies and gentlemen. So the answer here is West Bengal. So West Bengal has been honored with four Scotch awards for various schemes under Ease of Doing Business Initiative, Platinum Award for Shilpasti, the online single window portal. Okay. So what is Ease of Doing Business? Ease of Doing Business is basically a kind of index where the uh, the Niti Aayog, okay, Niti Aayog, it it ranks all the states in India that makes the uh, uh, environment friendly in their state for induction of various companies in their state. Okay, so uh, for example, and and uh, West Bengal has topped this list. It means what? It means like West Bengal has liberalized liberalized various sectors where they, they have they might have liberalized the labor laws might have liberalized the industrial timing or something or the other so as to make the state more industrial friendly so that various industries would come and invest in that particular state and for that purpose ease of doing business index in india is uh, all all every year published by niti Aayog. okay so next question we have is where did Indian Army organize Jazbai Tiranga, the 400 meter rally, sorry, uh, the 400 meter relay marathon in August 2021. So options are on your screen. Jammu and Kashmir, Punjab, Rajasthan, Ladakh, or Sikkim. We'll check the answer in 10 seconds. Okay, so the answer is Jammu and Kashmir. So in Jammu and Kashmir, Jijwai Tiranga, a 400 kilometer relay marathon was recently conducted by Indian Army in August 2021. All right, the next question we have is name the technology that was developed in August 2021 by DRDO's Defense Lab, Rajasthan, and High Energy Material Research Lab, Maharashtra, to safeguard the Indian Air Force jets. So, which of these <coughs> technology was developed? Uh, answer is here on your screen. Uh, sorry, options are on your screen. Attempt it. We'll check the answer in 10 seconds. All right, ladies and gentlemen. So the answer is Jeff technology. Okay. So <clears throat> the Indian Air Force, uh, there are basically two technologies through to protect the air assets. Number one is, is, uh, you know, <clears throat> number one is the flare technologies. Okay. So there are flares that are used and then there are chefs that are used. Okay. Flares are used when, whenever there's a heat seeking missile. So heat seeking missiles missiles okay uh, if they are fired at any fighter aircraft for example this for example this fighter aircraft is is uh, is in the sky okay and <clears throat> then there was uh, uh, suppose there, there's a all right so let us assume that there, there's a, a a missile that's going to seek the uh, the heat that's coming out of the engine from this fighter all right now uh, this missile that's going to that's co coming to hit hit this aircraft now the temperature of the heat that's coming out of the engine would be around 1000 degrees celsius so this this uh, fighter what it will do is it will keep on leaving some uh, flares so flares are like one one single shot pieces that will fly back and the missile heat seeking missile will get distracted and it will go and hit these uh, uh, flares instead of the the engine of the fighter aircraft and thereby this aircraft will will be safe all right but then uh, sometimes sometimes what happens is 
uh, there are ir rf missiles that are launched okay so rf is like radio frequency radio uh, frequency based so they do not actually check for the heat they check for the radio frequency the sound that's coming out from from that particular aircraft and and the they will be directed by the uh, the the uh, force that has launched the missile so the missile will not be heat seeking rather it would be radio frequency seeking and now to uh, now to de deviate this missile the flares will not work uh, uh, so flares will not work so for that we request chefs what is chefs do you might have seen various videos and photos in which you know there would be helicopters and uh, there would be uh, you know you might might have seen hercules aircraft and c17 glowmaster where the helicopter uh, the helicopters would be there and uh, these helicopters would actually be uh, you know spreading lot of chefs the lot of chefs from everywhere there would be chefs that would come out right uh, uh, lot, uh, so these are chefs the chefs they produce lot of sound they they create uh, radio frequencies with which they get deviated so chefs are basically used for the uh, radio frequency uh, seeking missiles whereas flares are used for the heat seeking missiles all right and these chefs are like a lot of chefs would be there like a lot lot of chefs you know single single shots would be there lot of chefs will fly out generally chefs are uh, there to protect the uh, the the transport aircrafts and the helicopters whereas the uh, flares are used for the fighters but this is nothing which is like common uh, like even the sukhoi uses the uh, chef technology so so is basically two kind one is flare one is chef flare is used for heat seeking missile and uh, chefs are used for radio frequency seeking missile this is all you got to know get to know okay so that's about it ladies and gentlemen so these were the most important question from uh, august part 1 so will in the next in the next video we'll come to the august month second part and we'll cover the most important mcqs from august and then we'll cover the july month all right so keep practicing the mock papers and uh, keep revising whatever you have read keep confidence in yourself okay whatever you have read till now is enough just keep practicing mocks and you will definitely clear this examination thank you ladies and gentlemen we'll meet in the next session